Being made in America means a lot more these days. We should all be buying American whenever we can, whatever we're buying. Now the most American, most patriotic, freedom-loving firearms company in existence is making a pistol based on the iconic Glock design right here in the U.S. of A. That's right, Patriot Ordnance Factory is building a Glock 19 size pistol, but they just didn't spit out another Glock style pistol so they could say they can. They looked at each individual detail, analyzed it, and did everything they could to improve on the original design, just like they do with their AR rifles, giving you a very complete and ready to go pistol based on the proven Glock design. Because let's face it, a Glock is just a starting point. Does anyone out there really run a bone stock Glock? You at least need to put new sights on them. But even beyond that, there are so many upgrades, improving Glocks has become a major industry in itself. POF delivers a feature pack pistol that is ready for serious use right out of the box, with no upgrades needed. However, if you have some upgrades that you are partial to, this pistol should be compatible with the vast majority of aftermarket parts for Gen 4 Glocks. POF has always stood out from the pack and builds the ultimate fighting machines. They just weren't going to make a regular boring Glock. They put a lot of key features into the P19 to separate it from the pack. Let's take a look at what all you'll get. First off, let's take a look at the frame. The entire thing is covered with this amazing texture that actually feels just like an expensive custom stippling job. I'm not exactly sure how POF achieved this texturing, but to me it is the most impressive and surprising feature in the whole pistol. The texture isn't overly sharp in my opinion, but it's really nice and grippy. I would also say that it is a superior texture to any mass-produced texture on the market. Like I said, it really does feel just like a very good custom stippling job. There's also a really nice beaver tail that allows you to grip the gun very high up on the frame, and a generous undercut on the trigger guard, again allowing you to grip up higher on the frame, helping you control recoil. They have gas pedals in the front, but they are massive and almost like a shelf to hold your support hand thumb, helping you control recoil and speed up follow-up shots. I also like how, while still working with standard Glock magazines, POF has managed to get the grip a little more vertical and not at the dramatic angle that Glock has. I think this is another huge improvement. The frame does feature adjustable back straps, allowing you to really dial the grip in just the way you like it. There is also a really nice oversized metal mag release with some really good texturing on it. One last thing before we move on from the frame, POF has put recesses on either side of the grip. You can use these to grip and forcibly remove the magazine should you need to due to a malfunction. It's nice that these are on the sides and not in the front, because who the hell would rip out a magazine from the front? Putting an indention in the front of the grip would just be stupid. The slide also has some tricks up its sleeve as well. First off, the slide has these awesome aggressive serrations that work extremely well and they double as lightning cuts. The slide also comes pre-cut for a Trijicon RMR so you can immediately attach a red dot if you like. If you want to go with just the iron sights, they are a big step up from the plastic space holders that come on the Glock. First off, they're made of metal because plastic sights suck. And the rear is blacked out with a high-vis fiber optic in the front. I've been running an RMR, but these iron sights would actually give you a very good sight picture if you wanted to just run those. Another nice little touch is the back plate is red anodized and has the POF logo on it. The barrel is also being made by POF, and POF has long been known for making absolutely exceptional rifle barrels that are phenomenally accurate. This barrel would appear to be of the same superior quality, and it does have a target crown to help with that accuracy. POF also has a threaded barrel that will be available soon. The guide rod is metal and has a single recoil spring on it. I even like how the takedown lever is slightly extended and angled, making disassembly easier. It's in the details. Let's talk about the trigger and I'm going to tell you up front, this isn't the lightest trigger you've ever felt in a Glock. If you're used to a Zev or something like that, this is going to be heavier. 
What POF wanted to do was preserve one of the greatest things about the Glock, the trigger safeties, making this an extremely safe pistol for everyday carry so the actual pull weight is pretty similar to a stock Glock. However, what they did do is greatly clean up the feel of the trigger. There's only a little bit of take up and it's absolutely silky smooth. The trigger breaks crisp as glass at about five and a half pounds with absolutely no over travel. The reset is audible, tactile, and leaves you perfectly on the wall for the trigger to break again with no take up. So while this isn't the lightest trigger, it is an exceptional trigger in every other way, while maintaining all the Glock safety features with no compromises. I also think that in actual use, the vast majority of shooters will be extremely happy with this trigger. However, if you want to swap it out, you should be able to exchange it for any Gen 4 Glock trigger. I know a lot of people are going to say you can get a Glock just like this for less money. And to that I would say, no you can't. Let's take a look at it and say you start with a Glock that you got for $500. And that is pretty conservative. And then you're going to add a custom slide milled out for an optic and you'll be in that for about another $400. The P19 has a texture far superior to a standard Glock and more like that of a custom stippling job. That custom stippling job is going to set you back another $300. With just those two enhancements, you've already exceeded the MSRP price of the P19 at $1,129. The POF P19 has a ton of other upgrades beyond that that will set you back even farther if you're trying to match it. Adding up all the additional costs of the sights, mag release, trigger, barrel, and the rest of it will push your custom build even further into the stratosphere. Trust me, if you've ever built out a high-end Glock, the price tag gets pretty insane pretty quick. The POF P19 delivers a ton of value for the cost. I know everyone doesn't need a tricked out Glock and the P19 may not be for everyone, but don't think that you can duplicate this pistol for less, it just can't be done. If a decked out Glock is what you're looking for, the P19 would be hard to beat or to find a better value for your dollar than the P19. I know a ton of people are going to have questions about holsters and believe it or not I don't have a ton of Glock holsters to try, but I do have a couple from Harry's holsters and the P19 fits into both without any issue. I believe the P19 would fit in the majority of Glock holsters, but there may always be some oddballs out there that it won't work with. That's why you should probably just stick with Harry's holsters like me and you can save some cash with the code AA5. The POF P19 was everything that I've come to expect from POF. It was accurate, reliable, and more than that, it just feels great in the hand. I'm not going to hide it. I'm not a huge fan of Glocks. They serve a purpose, but they don't have any feeling or soul to me. The POF P19 is a huge step up. It feels great, and this is a pistol that I actually enjoy shooting. Everything just feels tight and right. It really feels more like an HK pistol than it does a Glock. Needless to say, I am impressed. This pistol delivers everything you could want out of a high-end Glock clone pistol. POF has made drastic improvements over the original design while giving the consumer that appreciates the higher-end pistol upgrades a great value for their money. On top of that, you're buying a pistol from a solid American company full of patriots. And that means more now than ever. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we've got some really big reviews in the works that you won't want to miss. You want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel? Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. There you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you like what you see here on the channel, consider becoming a Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make and every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. There's also gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.